Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to the Shillier's channel. Make sure to subscribe on that YouTube right there. The, this is the Korean uh, Global Lab uh, patch note, if you want to call it that. Uh, August 16. This is an interesting one. This is a big one. This is a huge one. So starting out, they, they have a few class uh, things here. So so Ranger, you know, like I guess a few things. I don't really know what it means. You know, I, I don't think most of the people know what it means, but... It is what it is. Uh, wizard, it gets like a flow. I I don't know. Super armor. Using the magic evasion skill backwards during the cooldown. Uh, Ninja river stab. Um, you know, it's the same thing. And unless you don't play Ninja, you have no idea what this means. So I I can't really speak on it. You know, I I don't I don't know what this is. But uh, feel free to read about it if you're a ninja. Uh, you can also pause the video, you know, it makes it easier to read. But um, uh, same thing here, Nova, Nova changes. Uh, Dark Knight, uh, they seem to be buffing uh, Dark Knight uh, PvE damage and and this is supposedly it does the same thing in pvp but yeah some some small pve uh, damage buffs kind of kind of interesting because uh, usually they don't really buff uh, they don't really do anything for pve nowadays usually so it's it's kind of interesting that they uh, that they do this. Um, and and then lastly, I think is uh, some changes to uh, to the new class Dosa. Added four season skills. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But it looks pretty cool. It uh, it could be like a is that like an ultimate or something? No, no, is this like um I, I don't know what this is. That that looks like an ulti. I I kinda want them to change the one hundred percent ulti that, that it already has because in, in PvE you uh, you go through the monsters and then you end up on the other side of the screen and like you you know it, it would be better if it's stationary. So if if this is like a rework um, to to the one hundred percent, that would be way better because at least it's like stationary. You know, like this is better that way. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't really know what this is. Uh, seem to change like a few skills here and a flow. Okay. Uh, overall, the, this is not a fix to the to the balance. Like the, this is not a fix to the rework. The, this is not even a balance to the rework. This this is only like I I don't know what this is. <laughs> why why are they doing this? They they have to balance the rework. The the most important thing is that they balance the rework, especially with the one hundred tournament coming up. That that could be really good to to do that before before showing showcasing that to to all of Twitch. Uh, moving on, uh, content. The following quests can be completed in the Red Battlefield to improve, so that they can complete complete with the Black Spirit. That that is good. That that is actually pretty good. Because most of the times you have to go back into to RBF again to to complete the quest, it's just it's just annoying. So you end up doing an RBF that you don't really want to want to do just because you want to get the reward. Uh, so the, this is good. Uh, completion condition blah 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 in the red battlefield has has been changed. Um,
I I don't know. They, like but both of these are good in different ways. Like like here you get the use like I guess you get use here too, but like I I don't know. The amount of combat experience when I, I don't think people care about this. <laughs> like like it's it's not really a reward, you know, like it is uh what whatever. You you're gonna grab it anyway. Like if you if you do RBF, you grab it, the NPC is right there, but like you, you wouldn't go out of your way in real life to be like, ah, oh, I have to do RBF because of the reward. Like like no no no. And and if it is that way, it's like eh, you know, eh. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way all the time, but the amount of combat experience when gaining or winning or losing in RBF has been increased. Interesting. Or are we going to get more leechers now then? When you are defeated in red battlefield, it changed so you will obtain free battlefield marks. Okay. This is the most important thing here. This is the most interesting thing in, in all of the, the, the global lab right here. This is where the content begins. Right here. So they are, they are adding a Dekia Crescent Moon um, grind spot. So if, if you guys know, like from, from grinding Valencia back in the days, I, I don't think people do it nowadays, but... This is really interesting. Um, yeah, the, this like lore. I, I don't know. Wait, what, what, what is it saying? The light of Dekia. In the Crescent Temple with the group, blah, 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 the votes were discovered, exposed. Yeah, that's lore. But well, what is this then? When the light of Lantern of Dekia shines, the location on Crescent Temple, the uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. So uh, just like all of the other spots, you activate the Lantern next to this uh, big big stick right there. Uh, free 10 AP 400. I, I don't know why they do this. Why why do you do this, uh, PA developers? Why H haven't you played your game? Why why, why do you write four hundred? It's not four hundred one. Is the AP? Like, it's the DP bracket right there. Four hundred one, and and three hundred nine. That that one AP is not gonna give you shit. <laughs> why why do you write it this way? The AP bracket DP bracket is wrong. It's it's like one one AP and one DP difference. Oh my god. They they keep on doing this. They did this they do this all the time. What what what's that A one AP gonna do for you? What was what's that one negative DP gonna do? No, nothing. Nothing. Ash Forest um Dekia Decia Lantern. Is that our new like Decia Dekia like Wait, it is a, it is something else. This is Dekia. This is a Dekia lantern. And unless it's a unless it's like a misspelling right there, Decia lantern. Uh, when you shine the light of the second stage Dekia lantern at the designated with designated location, they will awaken. Uh, so yeah, it's like Dekia Lantern 2.0. Another type of Dekia. Yeah, I think so too. I, I don't think it's a misspelling. I, I think it's like a, yeah, a different type. But you, you never know. You never know. Uh, so this is like a level 2 kind of uh, Dekia, you know, like it's a harder form of content. 340 AP, 420 DP. Um, most likely 500 if you play a LAN. Um, interesting, interesting. Uh, this this is obviously because of the upcoming um, upcoming weapons and upcoming items that they're gonna give us.
So yeah, interesting. It, it is still gonna drop uh, Deborah and Ecclesis. It's gonna drop Forgotten Sign of Oblivion. Is that is that like the item you need to to make the sovereign weapon? Or, or is that a new type of like armor or something? Uh, Relic of Dekia reduce that, that's the artifact, right? Relic of Dekia. Uh, Relic of Dekia artifact. Uh, there's two different artifacts right there. Uh, Fragment of Dekia. I don't really know what that is. Uh, the fix for precise destruction. <laughs> that that sounds like a um, uh, you know, a stone like like a Velsart. Uh, I I don't know. It sounds like a destruction stone. <laughs> Uh, crystal of honest fighting spirit. I I don't I don't know. I don't know. But but anyways, very interesting, very cool. Uh, sounds like the token we currently get. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same thing to what well, what is this? Valley of Allen, Dekia's lantern. When when the light of the second stage. Okay, so second stage Allen two. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Is the four is the same APDP required? The the level two Dekia Ash and the level two uh, Olin. So it seems to have the same drop table, except for. No, it is it isn't like it is the same drop table except for the earring and the necklace is different. Um okay, okay. They, it's very good that they do this. They have a solo spot and they because they, this is a solo spot, right? They they have a solo spot and a uh, party spot. I think I think that is very good. Very good PA. Um very good. Relics of Dekia. Relics of De Dekia has been added to obtain by defeating monsters awakening through the second stage of Dekia Lantern. Relics can be equipped uh, in two relic slots located equipment window. Uh, they are of very high value and can be traded by registering them on the... Uh, I don't like this. I, I know this is like kind of like a preference uh, thing, but I, I, don't think this, this, I don't think that this is good for the game. And, and let me explain why. It is a preference uh, thing because some people are going to think that this is amazing. M mostly people that don't do PvE and mostly people that don't, they, they are, they can't even grind for this. So they, they're going to think that this is amazing, right? But, but I think in a different way. I, I think it's never been so important in BDO that, that we have something to do and something to go for. Even if it takes a massive amount of time, something that gives this item a very, very insanely high value. Not not only like very high, but like insanely high value. To to do things. Like I think I think it's very important that we have things to do and like you, you wanna incentivize reasons to wanna go for something and to do something and, and that you're gonna be stronger, you know? You're gonna be stronger if you do it. So that that's the reward. To to just keep on grinding orc and then buy it on the marketplace, I don't think that that's a cool thing. But but that's my opinion, right? Um, that there's diff different pe different people want to play the game differently. If you just want to play orc and grind grind this out, you know, buy it. Like okay, in in the beginning you're not gonna be able to buy this, but eventually you are going to be able to buy it. It's it's just like the um. Uh, if the grind spots are good enough, it's just like the the one that drops in Ulukita. So eventually, a, a new player is able to buy this too. Um, this is a little bit more maybe focused on PvP kind of a uh, you know artifact. Uh, so th this is a, a little bit more like PvP focused artifact right here, and and that is good because uh, they kind of need that for PvP. They they have the one for PVE. You don't want to devalue that too much. 
So um, g giving, you know, giving for PvP, that's that's actually pretty good, pretty nice. A good good decision. Uh, so yeah, interesting drop right there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Crack powder. <laughs> Crack powder. Oh, yes. <laughs> Crack powder, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's going to make you miss, right? If you consume that crack powder. Magic crystal. Added four types of magic crystals that can be obtained defeating monsters awakening through the second stage of Dekia Lantern. Uh, okay. Monster monster attack power all hit uh, critical potential level three. Oh, crit, critical hit rate or like crit. Uh, so th this is gonna. This is going to replace the uh, Fang one. Um, crystal Fighting Spirits. Monster Damage Reduction, Knockback, Monster Attack, All Damage Reduction, Knockback, Bound. Knockdown, Knockdown, Stun and Stiff. Okay, so it's it's more it's just an upgraded version of the crystals that we kind of have already. It, it gives you a lot of more monster AP, and and most likely that that's the case because of the new uh, the new grind spots right here. Oh, also like damage reduction because they they're gonna hit like a truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is is replacement crystals to to make us uh, stronger in the game to to be able to do this? Um, so more people are able to do this faster. I I don't know how fast people are gonna be able to reach this point of like being able to do this, and and because I don't know how fast that is gonna be, I I can't really have an opinion on that. Like, like I said before, like I I think it's very good if they slow down the game a little bit. So. It, it can take a little bit of time before people can actually do the content. And, and you give people a reason to gear up. You give people gear value, so your gear matters. And, and then eventually they're going to flow into the new content. Um, you, you don't need to stress it. They don't need to stress it like they've always been doing. But by making it way too easy and they, they don't need to do that. It, it, it kind of just like kills the game prematurely. It's like you, you give someone cigarettes all the time, they're going to die faster, you know? It's not good. They they keep on giving cigarettes to BDO. BDO is cracked on smoking, you know? But I, I, always, like, I love this. I, I think it's cool when, when we get new items in the game and, and, and new things to do and, and new things to acquire. I love this. But but in my opinion, it it has to be, it has to be a grind, especially in end game. It has to be a grind. It, it can't be easy. Like it, it even two hundred hours, like it is easy. Like easy gameplay. Like it, it needs to take time because we we need that. We need it as a content. <laughs> we need it as a content for end game. Like. Uh, six crystals will be replaced in PvE builds. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, they, they just released the ring and everyone has the ring, right? It's like the Debaraka ring. Uh, they just got released. Everyone has it. End game uh, item that everyone has. Uh, some terrain and valley, uh, according to the number of location, has been increased to maximum four. Uh, that is good, but I don't know if it's necessary, though. It's good that they do this because um, people people gonna find a grind spot. They they don't have to swap around too much. E even even on the PVE channel Arsha, they they're gonna be able to like you know be able to grind here. 
Um, so it's good that they have multiple places to do this. Uh, and, and when it comes to lantern gameplay, like all of the different lantern gameplays is the same. It could be less or more stuttery, but because of the environment, but uh, that's good. Uh, they added a quest, a additional knowledge. No, it's, it's additional knowledge quest. The the morning country, so they they kind of preparing us for uh, Lamal too. It's the same thing they did last summer. Uh, so yeah, main main quest and, and knowledge. Um, interesting. Added the ability to acquire adventure journal knowledge when talking to Yo Tai Su. Uh, knowledge icons been added to Arang. After completing the quest, you can acquire the adventure knowledge by talking to the person in the location below. Uh, movement of the spectators in the stands of the area has been improved to make it more natural. Okay, okay. The image in the reinforcement guide display to beginner adventure has been modified. They don't have to do this because no one is looking at this. Everyone goes and uh, check out the content creator or they go into YouTube and they, they Google on the shillier's like guide or whatever. They, they don't need to do anything here. Uh, some of the game tips uh, text include, uh, they don't have to do this either because uh, no, no one is checking on in-game uh, tips or you, you want to hide that as soon as possible. You don't want to have that in the game like um, pe people want to not see this when, when they play the game. So so again, content creators, they, they don't have to do this. Content creators, like we have to do this. <laughs> I, I should have a tip thing right here on, on the screen right now. Did you guys know that, that if you have the map open, you look around a little bit and you press space, that, that you're going to go back to your origi original point? <clears throat> yeah, now, now you guys know. Uh, fix the window size being resizable in the Magnus stand. Okay, so not nothing, nothing here. Uh, we would like to thank all of the adventurers who has always been with Black Desert. Well, thank you. Uh, they are preparing the awakening dosa. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they are preparing it. Uh, when, when is it going to get released? I don't know. I, if, if, if they are early stage preparing it, uh, that is good, in my opinion. If, if they're going to release it next week, I think it's like way too soon. And, and they have different things that they have to focus on. <laughs> they, they have way more things that they have to focus on than like making this Awakening Dosa. Uh, so yeah, like if, if they're thinking about it like early stage, I think it's good. If 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 they're planning on releasing this in like one or two weeks, I think I think they definitely misprioritized them. Um, preparing sounds late. It, it does it does sound late to say that they are preparing for it right now. Yeah, but but it can be good. It can be good that it takes a long, long time because they haven't done all of the other things that they have to do. Uh, apparently, they don't have like, I, I mean, I can say this, right? Uh, apparently, they don't have a cosmetic team. They don't have a class team. They, they don't have a terrain team. They don't have a music team. They, they don't have a translation team. Every single developer in BDO PA 
they do everything apparently. And, and the reason why I know this to be true is because it takes them five months to translate the game. Uh, apparently the translator is working on NPC building, like, uh, apparently. That, that's why we don't get the new, uh, you know, the new content, because the translator is working on uh, m modeling a weapon. Hot take. I mean, it, it kind of sounds to be true. And not, not to mention that most of the developers, they do Crimson Desert anyway. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. I I like this. I like that this is content. This is something to do. This is good stuff. Uh, but what does it mean, though, chat? What what does it mean? You you have something to to do, and that is really cool. You have the same areas that you grind in that can be a little bit boring but it, it kind of depends on how they remake the mechanics and everything it's gonna swap up the mechanics and that could be could, could be a little bit cool um depends on how they develop it do we need more items in the game no no so even even though it's cool and everything, you have something to do and, and something to acquire, you don't need to get those items. The PvP is dead. No no one does PvP. So un unless you fix the PvP rework and 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 the node war, there is no reason to get like the artifact. You know, like why why get the artifact? You have no one to fight. And and the same same thing with PVE, and and that's kind of been the same thing f since forever in PVE. Uh, get, getting gear to get gear for in PvE so you can do the thing to get gear for in PvE. Uh, at the end of the day, there is, there is no PvE dungeon that, they, that they're working on right now. So in, in the future, this is good. But, but right now, we don't need it. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's kind of what it means. That there is no reason to have more gear in PvE right now. And unless he has to do like the new content, but you know. So that that is what it means. It, it is it could be for preparation for the future. It, it could be implemented that way. But I, I would wanna see it the other way around though. Like like a little bit a little bit the other way around. I would like to see like the reason to do PvE getting released. And and then I would want to see like the, acquiring the gear for that reason to be released, um, so you can like you know so you can do that thing easier with time moving forward, and and not the other way around when you're like preparing for everything, and and then you're already ready to go, and and then you get the new content like a year in the future. Is um, yeah, I mean it's it's just like you you do it backwards in a way. So that is everything. Subscribe to YouTube, uh, like the video, leave a comment, tell me how stupid I am. Um, yeah, see, see you guys in the next one.